Hello, my name is Jamie Beal. I'm a Moose team leader at the Maine Department of Education in the Office of Innovation. Before joining the team this year, I taught for 17 years, mostly in second grade and most recently in Wyndham. And last year, I participated in the Moose project both as a content creator and I also coached other Moose content creators. Hello, I'm Joanna Martell. I too am a Moose team leader with a background in curriculum building, innovative educational programming, and teacher administration experience. I'm really proud and excited to bring you information regarding Moose Year One and now Moose Year Two, and how it's helped public home and private learners of all ages. We know this year has brought a lot of challenges and we're really hoping that the Moose Project will help you in all of your many concerns. Here's the outline for the presentation so you know how this information can help you and your students. First, we'll talk about what the Moose Project is. Then we'll talk briefly about how it was developed. And then we'll spend the bulk of our time talking practically about how you can use the Moose modules to help your current, help you in your current teaching needs. And lastly, we'll talk about the future of Moose because we've got some exciting things coming down the line. As we go along, if you have any questions, please know you can always reach out to any of the Moose team leaders and we'll leave our information at the end. The main online opportunities for sustained education, AKA Moose project began in response to the school closures in 2020. As Maine schools prepared for last school year, the Maine Department of Education developed the Moose project to help students in whatever model of schooling they would be experiencing, whether that was fully remote, hybrid, or fully in-person. Throughout last school year, teachers from across the state worked to create online learning modules that covered all the standards from pre-K through 12th grade. They used a project and place-based framework to develop deeply integrated, highly engaging units and lessons. The modules are open source and online, and we think that the content on Moose is very applicable to our current situation where we're in person, but needing to help with quarantining students and filling the gaps in learning. The modules were designed with student accessibility as a main concern. We used universal design for learning framework to guide and develop the content, focusing on the three main ideas of UDL of engagement, of representation and action and expression. From a practical standpoint, this means that there's a balance of video and text, screen reader capabilities, and many other features. We also embedded social and emotional learning tasks throughout the modules. So how about now? Many of you may be thinking, great, that was last year, and now I have brand new challenges this year. And here's how Moose can help. So first, filling your gaps. Many teachers we've talked to are dealing with gaps in learning and some of them are significant. There's the pressure to catch everyone up, but meet with them where they are, cover the standards on top of it all. One way that Moose can help is by providing resources so that you and your students are working with highly engaging, integrated content. If students are working at something that they like, we all know it keeps them on tasks and it keeps them working on skills that they need to develop at the same time. You as teachers can assign students different levels of work if they need support in a prerequisite skill or they want to go further with, without any assistance. Since we created modules for pre-K through 12th grade, there are plenty of options for differentiated both based on interest as well as on skill level. We also worked on incorporating and continuing to improve elements to address accessibility. So let's talk about engagement. With over 300 modules, there's really something for everyone. One way to use these modules is that you could assign students different modules based on their interest. So maybe one student's working on transportation and another student's working on music. Um, another thing to remember is they're all integrated. So both of those modules could still be working on other things like ELA or science or math. Another way to use Moose is in your own work. So instead of you creating content, 
go to Moose and find something that works for you. It's all pre-made. It's all inclusive content. So you've got videos, books, printables, materials lists. It's all there for you. And it's clear that a teacher made these modules for other teachers. <laughs> if you needed a sub and you could get one, you can use them for sub plans. You could use them for snow day plans if you need that. And there's also modules on community building, social emotional work and diversity. And if you need to flip and go remote or a student needs to go remote, even on a moment's notice, the content can be accessed anywhere. You can start training students to use the module while they're in school. And if for any reason the student ends up having to learn remotely, they still have access to their work. A lot of the material is on Google Slides and PDFs, so we all know that that means that you can start sharing them through Classroom, Seesaw, and many other platforms. The modules are also printable. There's a lot of flexibility in how you use them and how they're accessed. So we are really committed to you leaving this presentation with something that helps you now. I'm going to, we're going to walk you through a couple of modules and so you show you some of the key features to look for. So first, let's go to the Moose homepage. When you go to learnwithmoose.main.gov, this is what you'll see. I'm going to show you at the top, there's these three bars. If you click those, you can search by grade span and even do an advanced search where you can do grade, topic, activity, and standard. Coming back to the home page, coming down here, there is a login and a sign up that is completely optional. And you can also search by grade span if you click these um, boxes. So if we went into the pre-K two one, you might see one of them called the lemonade stand. This is one of the modules for pre-K two, specifically second grade. So you can hit start. If you scroll down, you can see there's lessons that you can access through here. And over here on the right, there's a little bit of information about the module, the grade, topic, activities, the tools you might need. If you click details, you'll see the standards hit in this unit. And here you can do the print module. And then coming back over here to the lessons, if you click through, this one is made with Google Slides and you can access it through the website. But you can also click the link below and make your own copy. And that's how you could put it on Classroom or Seesaw or another platform. And right before I give it over to Joanne, I just wanna show you another button that's very important to us. Give us some feedback. This is where you could tell us a little bit more about your experience using these modules. Okay. And then we're gonna show you one of the modules for the high school and food truck challenge. Yeah, we encourage you to follow all the links um, that are provided. Remember, this is learnwithmoose at um, main.gov and share these with your colleagues and uh, build your own resources list as well. The food truck challenge is one of our highlighted um, modules that was built. This is for high school, but we also have middle school as well as high school modules. And we tried very hard to up the game, up our game uh, to increase the use of technology, as well as develop um, more and more interest for those students in higher grades as they climbed through the modules. And so you'll see that even though this is on a Google slide, you'll notice that they're developing their own business plans and they are dealing with challenges in the communities as teenagers are doing on their own. So we did try very hard to work in the project-based and place-based policy um, practices as we built the modules and to increase interest as well as voice and choice. Thanks, Jamie. Great. The Moose Project, the Moose Project continues um, to grow and improve. A team of educators is currently exploring and improving content by reviewing year one with an eye of, to improving uh, accessibility. 
along with new contracts with experienced web developers to improve the interface to make it even more intuitive for you, the educator. With an eye toward the future this year, we're currently working on project and place-based um, integrated modules that will launch in the spring of 2022. The biggest change in this round of development is that we're creating pre-K through 12th grade integrated learning progressions focusing on five topic areas, STEAM, climate science, career development, computer science, along with the history of genocide and Holocaust is allowing us to add to the depth of our work by partnering with distinguished content specialists around Maine and you, Maine teachers, to create developmentally appropriate and integrated progressions of learning. And in the spring, we'll begin a second round of content creation with brand new topics. We're always looking for teachers to join our project. Teachers receive a stipend as well as professional development in project and place-based learning, universal design for learning, and technology integration. As a teacher who did this last year, I found this project to be so impactful to me, both professionally and personally. I learned so much about uh, curriculum and design that I could immediately bring back to my classroom and my colleagues. And personally, I met and worked with some wonderful educators across the state of Maine who I would not have had a chance to do collaborate with otherwise. As we start, hopefully, moving out of the pandemic response and into the future of education, the Moose Project is an opportunity to keep the momentum of positive change alive. We encourage you to share what you've learned today with your colleagues, your administrators, and keep it in mind for your future. We always love to hear how educators are using our modules and their experience and the feedback from you and the use, you are the users of Moose. Uh, it strengthens all of our practice. We're, we are all working to benefit the most important people in our lives, our students. Thank you so much for your time and attention. We really hope this has been valuable for you. For more supporting resources, check out the Maine Department of Education's website.